Greetings everyone. This is Ruth Handler speaking. Perhaps you know my name, or maybe you only know my creation, but today I am here to tell you the story of the best-selling doll in human history. A doll that has been part of the childhood of millions of girls around the world, loved, criticized, transformed, and ultimately, never forgotten. However, my worst enemy was cancer, which consumed me for years. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. I was born under the golden sun of a bright dawn on November 4, 1916, in Denver, Colorado. From a very early age, a creative spark ignited within me, a voracious passion for innovation and building that would shape the very essence of my existence. I grew up with the impetus to make, to create, to leave a mark on the world that transcended the limitations of my mortality. Destiny, in its unfathomable wisdom, wove the path that would lead to an unstoppable triumvirate. My beloved husband, Elliot, the astute Harold, and I, united by a shared dream, founded a company that would become the epicenter of childhood imagination, Mattel. In the effervescent currents of this crucible of creativity, the idea of a doll that would forever change the concept of toys and their influence on children's personalities emerged. It was in the late 1950s when we introduced the world to the first Barbie doll, an event that not only marked a milestone in the history of toys, but also burst onto the socio-cultural scene with the force of a hurricane. My ambitious and daring vision was to give girls a doll that reflected their dreams and ambitions, one that went beyond the gender roles established by society. However, like any revolution, Barbie's arrival was not met with applause by all. As she gained ground and popularity, criticism and controversy began to arise. She was accused of promoting unrealistic beauty standards, of setting unattainable expectations and patterns for girls. But armed with the conviction that Barbie was a vehicle for freedom of imagination, I stood firm against the criticism. My life was not limited to Barbie. I am a staunch advocate for early childhood education and co-founded the Mattel Foundation, dedicated to supporting educational and child welfare programs. Under my leadership, Mattel acquired Fisher Price, an acquisition that not only expanded our influence in the toy industry, but also reaffirmed our position as market leaders. As the new millennium approached, I faced one of the greatest challenges of my life, breast cancer. However, my battle against this terrible disease only served to strengthen my indomitable spirit. I became a fervent advocate for awareness and early detection of breast cancer, but despite my efforts, on April 27, 2002, I had to bid farewell to this world. Yet, my legacy remains more alive than ever. Every Barbie that leaves the shelves, every girl who finds in her a source of inspiration and confidence, is a living testament to my vision. Barbie has evolved with the times, embracing diversity and inclusion, reflecting my constant dream of a world free from prejudice. I was a woman of challenges and achievements who always believed in the importance of allowing girls to imagine and aspire to anything they desire. Through Barbie, I hope to have inspired generations of girls to be brave, bold, and to believe in their own worth. Now you have heard my story, a life full of ups and downs, but also of great successes and unforgettable moments. I hope you have enjoyed this journey through my life and my legacy. If you liked it, don't forget to show your appreciation, as your support means the world to me. We will meet again in the next installment of Memories and Inspirations. Until then.